Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at ordinary to standard form, uh, particularly with the positive powers. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's say this number 625,000. Uh, we want to be able to actually write this in a much quicker way. Um, and this is where standard form comes in. Now you might have actually seen in the calculator, there is a button. Let me just find the button right there. In some some calculators, you'll see like times 10 to the power of something. Uh, in some calculators, they actually have EX, EXP button as well. But pretty much it's, it's the same thing. But what's the purpose of this? Now, let's say we want to write a number like 625, um, I don't know, trillion or something like that. Now, you don't want to be sitting there typing in or like writing all the zeros. So what we do is we actually write this in standard form. Now, how do we do this? We actually multiply it by 10 to the power of something so if you take about if you think about 625,000 uh, general practice is that they always write this as um, 6.25 um, and you might be wondering it's like hang on why can't it be 62.5 or why can't it be 625 um, this is just um, uh, it's just something that we do with standard form is that we actually write it after the first number the decimal point comes after the first number now what we have to do is we've got to go 6.25 times 10 to the power of something. Now think about it like this, all right? Um, I'm just gonna do like a quick little example on the side here. Now if you take about 625, uh, we can write this as um, 6.25 times 100. Because if you think about it, 6.25 times 100, let's just show you guys what it is, 6.25. Uh, times 100 that's equal to 625 but we also know that six we can write a uh, hundred as 10 squared so that's what we're gonna do here so we're gonna go well what number do I multiply uh, by 6.25 to get to 625,000 now that I'm gonna show you guys a couple of ways the long method of course is you going 625,000 oh, I've got an extra zero there it shouldn't matter and I'm gonna divide it by 6.25 now, when I do this, I'm actually getting a hundred thousand. But I also know that hundred thousand could actually be written as ten to the power of. I count the number of zeros. That's one, two, three, four, five. That is going to be ten to the power of five. Now, in your calculator, you can test it out. So, in my calculator, I can just go six point two five times. I'm using this times ten to the power of button. And I'm going to put five in the little uh, box right there. And if I press equals, I am getting 625,000. Now, you're sitting there going, it's like, well, is there a faster way of doing this? Of course there is. Now, while this is a shortcut, I mean, people still make a lot of mistakes quite easily. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys a shortcut here. So if I have 625,000, I know that 625,000 could be written like this, 0, 0.0, all right? Now, you think, well, actually, this is still the same number. Now, what I'm doing here is I am moving the decimal point to the left, um, how many spots? And if you think about it, I actually want this to be 6.25. So I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four, and five spots that I'm moving. So basically, you can kind of see that connection there with 6.25 times 10 to the power of 5. So I could rewrite this as 6.25 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, that's a quick way of doing this. Uh, you, are, you are allowed to use this method. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's just sometimes with kids, like, you know, you forget, oh, am I going right? Am I going left? Uh, especially when it comes to the negatives. Um, you know, it's just you've got to do a lot of them so that you're confident. Otherwise, you could always do um, the old method, which is, uh, multiplied by 100,000 or 100, whatever, and then rewrite that as 10 to the power of something. So I'm going to do a couple of quick examples. I'm going to do uh, long method and short method. So long method here, I actually want this to be 7.5. So I'm going to get 7.5 times 10 to the power of what? I don't know what that what is, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take 750,000 and I'm going to divide it by 7.5. And as you can see, that is 100,000 which is the same thing as saying 10 to the power of 5. And if you notice, remember, 750,000 could be written as 750,000.0. 
And if I'm moving that decimal point, one, two, three, four, I'm actually moving five spots. So I know I'm doing the right thing there. All right, let's look at uh, example B, 9,300. So I'm gonna write that as 9.3 times, what is it gonna be, 1,000? And again, if you're unsure, you could just go 9,300 divided by 9.3, which gives you 1,000. And of course, 1,000 is the same thing as saying 10 to the power of three. And again, if you have a look at 9,300, we've got 9,300.0. We're moving three decimal place, the three like numbers we're moving over, uh, and so therefore it becomes 9.3 times 10 to the power of three. Looking at the next one, 65,000. So we're gonna get uh, 6.5 times 10,000. Um, and again, if you're not sure, just chuck in that 65,000 and divide it by 6.5. There we go, we get 10,000. And we're gonna put this as 6.5 times 10 to the power of, count the number of zeros, that's four. So we're gonna put to the power of four. Again, let's have a look here. We're going one, two, three. So four numbers that we have to move the decimal points. So we're gonna get to the, times 10 to the power of four. Now let's say for instance, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure if I did that right. Then what you could do is just go into the calculator uh, and I'm gonna look at question A here and I'm gonna put down 7.5 times 10 to the power of 5 and I'm getting 750,000 so I've done it right and if I look at question B I'm going to go 9.3 times 10 to the power of 3 and that's giving me 9,300 and finally I'm going to do 6.5 times 10 to the power of 4 and that's giving me 65,000. That's just a quick set of questions uh, for going from ordinary to standard form, especially with positive powers. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.